everybody, Rita here with Do My Read Scrap Shack. Um, <clears throat> this is a little junk journal I made for my Harley Grace. She's my oldest granddaughter, and it's using all her artwork that she does <laughs> while she's at my house. So this was on some uh, cardboard that I get at work. Uh, you know, we get little pieces of cardboard like between the fruit cups and stuff. And this is just a piece of fabric. I sewed around it, put some eyelets, put a little really cute piece of lace that somebody sent me in Happy Mail. I got a, a stamp on here that she painted a long time ago and I save all their kids artwork <laughs> so it was fun to um, let me make sure I'm in. Am I in? Yeah I guess I'm in. Okay so you can tell right here where she wrote Harley and this was a watercolor paper right here so I made a pocket and that other little stamp wraps around that edge and that was of a little boy paper doll that she had painted a long time ago. I added some lace and just stamped this book belongs to. This is the Elsie Bell's Bookshelf uh, Digital, and I love it. And the colors went so good with the watercolors that I had to add, you know, a few pieces of that in here. That's a digital you can get at um, on Etsy on Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. I love Ellie. <laughs> I love it, Ellie. Um, yeah, um, these are just some little things I found in some books, and this picture of me and the grandkids, and another one of those font prompt things that I print, and this is just a napkin Mod Podge on the edge, so this was just sewed down to the page of the back side of her artwork. <clears throat> this is a napkin that I, you can tell where she signed it here, it says Harley, another one of those little um, uh, prayer things. Uh, uh, I forget what book that's out of, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're all like little quotes and things out of the Bible. This is a picture of Harley when she was at the zoo. Um, this is also a digital, but this is a different one, and I, I want to say that was a freebie. No, it wasn't. I, I can't remember what that is. If I remember, I'll, um, you know, I'll include it, but this is some more of her artwork. It says, that she loves grandma. <laughs> it's from Harley. And then this was a digital that I had that I thought, no, this wasn't. This is not a digital. Oh, where did I see that? Maybe Pinterest. I'm not sure. I just loved it because it had the watercolor of hummingbirds and the same. Like, no matter what the situation, remind yourself that you have a choice. This is more of her artwork. Uh, she loves to paint and shake the brushes and make all the dots and I thought this was beautiful <laughs> so you know I've just edged I've just distressed the edges with some um, um, vintage photo of course that's my favorite I use it a lot here's one of the flowers out of my neighbor's garden and Harley loved it <laughs> I thought it was kind of I didn't think it was that attractive but Harley loved it and she wanted me to mod podge it on this page so I did so it stuck there this is some more of her artwork this is Harley and her brother, Corbin. Um, she knows I love ladybugs, and I hope she does too, because I put some of the little quotes that I've seen on some of my Pinterest pages or wherever I found them. You know, they, they, they ended up in here with her artwork. But isn't this beautiful, you guys? I swear, this girl, her mom and dad are both very artistic. My son is a tattoo artist, and her mom can do acrylics and oils. She's amazing. She's just She's a really good painter, so she's probably taking right after her mom and dad. This was uh, so special to me, and I, I had her mom take a picture of it because when Harley's birthday came around in 2017, I asked her to make me a wish list, and she wrote this herself. This stood for new backpack. This stood for clothes. I'm not sure what TOS stood for toes? I don't know. I don't know what she meant by that. Uh, cheesecake, chonies, blocks, bathing suit, baby suit. I thought that was so cute. Uh, she loves beanies because she used to always wear them, you know, when she was cold. Love and crafting stuff. Isn't that the cutest, you guys? So yeah, I just printed it out and then I stuck it in here. Memories like that. Sometimes it's the tiniest things that just melts my heart. So yeah. So I love her artwork. I put it in here as some more little, you know, ladybugs, of course, and 
I left I left room for her to write because um, Harley does write stories for me sometimes and I want her to be able to write in here even if it's a memory she has or maybe her mom wants to add some more pictures I'm not sure this is me with Harley Grace and Corbin and Madison now this picture was taken I think before Finley was born so she's not Finley's not in this one here's some more quotes and some more of that beautiful uh, digital and I think this was a mistake because right here it says oh I know what happened she was typing and she typed on one of my digitals so I stuck it in here <laughs> anyway it said Manda right here with question marks the girls love to type or or you know type on a computer or the old typewriter when they're here so uh, another quote, another little ladybug, of course. This is some of her painting pages, and I love this because, you know, it has some globs of glitter, and it has little pieces of um, star glitter and big old pieces of glue. It's so cute, but I, I just love it, and I think it goes well with this digital from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. It's beautiful. I love this one. Um, I just I Mod Podged a, a butterfly on top of there, some sewing. And here's another picture of me and the kids at the at the beach in Ventura. Another Mod Podge of a butterfly on top of this digital and one there. These are all napkins. This is a napkin of a hummingbird and some beautiful hibiscus. And um, in this envelope, I just put this piece of scrapbook paper because I liked how it had the little dragonfly in the circle. She could always put a picture back here or maybe a, her favorite piece of fabric or something back there and make this a uh, little journaling tag if she wants to or sew it shut or whatever she wants to do with it, you know? Yep. Some stencils of ladybugs on the back of her artwork. And she just painted this little girl uh, when she was here last. <laughs> February 22nd, it says. It's funny because I posted on Instagram which one of my babe, baby grads painted this because I wasn't sure if it was Harley's or or um, Madison's. Harley said it was mine. <laughs> so I put it in her book. And I plan to make one of these books for both uh, or each one of my grandchildren because I have artwork from all of them. And since I've had a little time off in the craft room, um, I just threw this together for her the other day and I plan on making another one for Madison and one for Corbin and Someday when Finley's big enough, she'll be making artwork, too. Um, on the 22nd, when Harley was here last, uh, she got a couple of her Christmas presents late. <laughs> because the one that Grandpa got her the first time, she couldn't use. So he re-asked her what she wanted, and all she wanted was slime supplies. <laughs> so slime and Play-Doh slime. and Anyway, this is my daughter Amanda, and they played that day, and they had so much fun with all this all this stuff that she got to create and I've got a little video I need to put it up on my channel I haven't put it up yet but this is a cute little thing out of one of my books and I just colored it in with my markers and put it in here for Harley as a little place for her to put you know put her stuff it's like a little pocket some more of her artwork here and some more of it back here behind this if there ever comes a day when we can't be together keep me in your heart I'll stay there forever and I, I tell her that because we miss them. They don't live here in Santa Paula. They live in Bakersfield, so it's really hard to... We miss them a lot, and I love it when she's here because she loves to be in my craft room with me. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. I honestly think I should scan this and just make a digital out of it because it's just so stinking cute. I know. She, she's going to be... Well, she is. She's an artist already, but I know she's going to be famous someday. And then I just put this little picture of her grandma in here because... It's one of my digitals, and it's the picture I took uh, showing everybody how gray my hair is and how long it's gotten, and I put my self-quarantine life because the day that we were talking about that, um, uh, I was talking to a, a cousin that I hadn't, you know, seen in years and years and years, and so I took a picture of myself. <laughs> anyway. I think it turned out super cute. I'm, I love it, and I hope Harley Grace loves it. I know she'll write in it because I've made her several books, and she writes in them, and she keeps them, and she takes really good care of them, so I'm so proud of her. And that's it. I just wanted to share that. If you have any questions or um, just want to chat, leave me a message. Thanks for watching, everybody.